There we go. Now you'll pick it up. Of course, then Rostock is going to be flooded in spices, but then I can deal with them a lot easier. That's why I have everything centralized. It's a good feeling. Hmm, good. The hemp is not overflowing. In fact, Lubeck lacks hemp. I wonder if the center lacks hemp in general. Gotham City looks okay on hemp. As does Oslo. Ah, uh, but we do produce a lot of pelts around here, and pelts require a lot of hemp. So, I should grab the hemp center guy, and just tell him to pick up the pace. Hemp center one, old Lizzie. He's tiny. Absolutely tiny. Okay, so for one, I want a second one of him, so I'm going to save this as hemp center. Uh, when he gets to Malma, I'll see if he can't give him a new boat or two. Okay, just one. That's a bit sad. But I'm almost out of Carvels here, so that's sad in itself. Alright, 4,000 I guess will do, but I'm going to make another one that does the same, but in reverse. So I'm going to grab, grab one of my auto ones. All wins here will be it. I got some games to, uh, to do for all wins. But summer's right around the corner, so I'll be slaughtering those. Um, hemp, Rostock, Center 2, Owens. Is that my name in convention? I'm good at forgetting that. Yeah. And then we load Hemp Center. But we edit it, of course. It should start in Rostock, as everything does, but then it goes to Lübeck, then Flensburg, Aalborg, Oslo, Gotham City, Malmö, Stettin. Beautiful. Why not uh, Neustadt? Because they probably still produce hemp. Uh, who does? Bremen, Hamburg. Neustadt produce like seven hemp, so they probably need, still need to stay on that. Uh, where should Neustadt go here, anyway? After Flensburg? That seems reasonable. Actually, that's probably a big problem for Neustadt. They were removed from the hemp, but I didn't actually give them hemp. Uh, in any case, you need some cogs, don't you? Yeah, well, why don't we actually have some Hanseatic... No, well... Mm, I like those Hanseatic cogs, but... Certainly can't spare you any Carvels. Okay, I am struggling on boats now. And it's really struggling if it comes to the point where I'm going to give the hemp guy the Hanseatic cogs. Still, we got to get this stuff flowing. But that also means that I need to grab the other center guy and tell him to actually include Nestead. And I want to confirm that. We go to Nevstead, we look at hemp production. Oh, they still do a lot of hemp. Did I like... Oh, right, 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 right. I built 70 of them. But it's only meant to be at 10% production, or 10% utilization, so that it's only seven that work there. So it's been lucky that they've had enough hemp for all their hunting lodges. They don't need a lot of them, 50 per day, and we already produce 42, but still, there we go. They make grain, which is fine. Okay. Okay. Ah, but there was a Nevsted to Rostock hemp mover, which means I can destroy it. Not the pelt guy, but there was another Nevsted to Rostock metal. Do you even still do metal? Yeah, I guess you do. Good. Keep at it. But yeah, this hemp guy, he's got really good stats, so I don't want to destroy him. 
So I could move him over to the cogs so we actually save him. There we go. Preserved. Save and save often. Don't load. Don't load. And spacebar our way to more hundreds of millions of ducats. <sighs> Still the tools remain a concern, and that's something. Tools, pitch, cloth, hemp, and wood. They all need to flow, but the tools suffer in the west. Not a lot I can do to... Oh, okay, well, Berlin could start by actually getting those tools to me. Do you fail that quite often? Why is that? I have no explanation. I mean, Berlin should have plenty of metal flowing in, metal and wood. Do I have a wild card uh, other than you? Okay, I still have the auto McScrooge working here. I do not want you doing anything. Well, not au not anything automatic at least. Let's get rid of that. And then let's call you the uh, wild card. McScrooge is a bad name. I like to name the wild cards after people in chat. So, who in chat wants to be the, uh, the cart mule here? In any case, you're going to Berlin and picking up some of those goods for me. Actually, where, where even are you right now? Can't, couldn't even place you if I tried. Okay, he's currently in Berlin, but I need to get him somewhere that uh, has... Oh no, he's on his way to Berlin. Get over there, you need to be bigger. So a reminder, I modded these wagons to be 10 times bigger and more expensive than they were before. I would have to have 10 times as many as I do right now to get all this stuff done. Ten times as many. That's a huge amount. There we go. Get those tools flowing. Minden, <clears throat> when it comes to tools, they seem pretty sorted. But the Berlin guy, he should have everything taken care of with his, uh, with his automatic guys. I have no explanation. There we go, that gets that moving a bit better. I wonder if I don't distribute cloth enough. Harlem has cloth, Boston has cloth. There's just no pitch there. Now, when we, near the start of this whole stream, we had about a million people in the Hansa. Currently, we have 1.4 million people in the Hansa. That's pretty awesome. Okay, 1.34. Still, it's growing. And boy, is it growing. Prosperity, upswing. State of emergency only in Boston and Stavanger, probably because they... They got plague. Yeah, what a shame for them. Still Thorn Desire Wood. Haven't I been giving them all the wood that they need? Okay, I've certainly been helping. Or rather, the wild card has been helping. King of Cozy wants to be the mule. And they've got an excellent name. So, King of Cozy. Wow, it fits as well. Amazing. Amazing. 
explosions all day, every day. How is that fish production going for places that only started doing it recently? When it comes to fish, we're very limited in the places that produce it. Five of them, in fact. But Nimwegen, Hernigen, Harlem, and Bruges all do it. Well, Bruges say they do it, but I'm not seeing much. Probably because they haven't built them yet. And the smokehouses that they do have are probably just supplying local demand. Well, more than that, but it's probably getting swept up in the auto things. Harlem have always done fish, and they've always done it pretty well. Harlem are drowning in honey, which I would like to have over in Rostock. Also, drowning in honey is one of the most delicious things I can imagine. And... Mm. Anyway, Harlem to Rostock honey is not active for whatever reason. Let's change that. Run again. You do... You do your fishies, but they're not flowing. I'll have to take care of that, but probably when I have some actual, uh, actual boats. I mean, you could do it by, uh, by land, but that's a pain because you will get caught by the la the tax collectors. Mm hmm. Gracias, senor, says King of Cozy. You're welcome. Where are you from there, King? We don't see you here often. Dare I say I've never noticed you before, as rude as that may sound. Alright, maybe turbo-boosting Lubeck's wood production is kind of working against me now, but let's not even worry about it. Let's take a whole bunch of that wood and give it to places that need it. Which include London, for whatever reason. Are London also short on uh, clay? Yeah, they got stuff they haven't built yet. 20,000 clay would do them solid. And would you look at that? We just might happen to have that. Where else is short on building materials? There aren't many. Malma is. How and why is Malma not done? They should be pretty, uh, pretty high on the list of places that get this stuff. Okay, so Malma need it. Ripen, London, Bruges, Nimwegen? Ah, that's fine, they're internal ish. Thorn, Gotham City still need it? I am surprised, but they're almost done with it as well. Okay, Malma, I'll help you first because I'm nice. There we go. <clears throat> Gothenburg. Just gets them done. And we'll go back for more. We'll get Ripen and London done too. This is exactly what the wild card excels at. Just bursts of this. And then over to London as well. Over here in Maryland, United States. Uh, still not sorry for all the horrible things I've said, but uh, I'm sure you can cope. The American Pavilion is a cliche. It only happens in your Hollywood movies. Man, I could do with replaying uh, Resident Evil 4. What a great game. Scarborough's overloaded with wood. It's okay. Don't know of anywhere else that's sorely in need of wood right now, but that's good. Oh, that, those explosion sounds. Alright, things are getting really good, and we are fast approaching the finale here. As fast approaching as a 100 hour long campaign truly can. But uh, production is looking amazing. We have managed to uh, build up the Hansa without running into any real, tri uh, real difficulties. The only thing we're really lacking on are ships. And our shipyards are plowing out Carvels as fast as they can. I mean, they'll plow them out a bit faster if I uh, 
actually tell them to build more. And I will need a ton more carvels. Probably go around everywhere doing that. Hmm. I would like to green off a few cities before we uh, roll up for the night. It bothers me that Edinburgh have things that are not breweries. So we're going to find where the AI has them and destroy them. Also, this looks like the AI has something here that is grossly offensive to me. It's this brewery, and now it's mine. Now that's an offer I simply cannot refuse. Take the business with my blessing. Oh, well, I'm going to be taking a whole load of your businesses because I have too much money and I fear the money cap. And yes, I could just force him to destroy these by making the price of beer extremely cheap. But he would just fill these places up with houses, as I have now learnt. So there's no point in even doing that. Right, his breweries are not there. He has a smithy for some reason. Now he does not. So this is going to be super expensive. He has still got 14 of these. So that's about 140 million ducats that I'm just about to pour down the drain for very, very minimal uh, returns here. I mean, this stuff will not make uh, make its money back anytime soon. I hope I didn't demolish any breweries there. I demolish something, I need to replace it with a brewery. Must be really disheartening for him though, having all the stuff that he built up just torn away from him. But I am giving him a... Uh, what's the phrase? A golden hammock? A golden rope? Something pretty golden with all these ducats that I throw at him. But I love Edinburgh. Like, I truly love Edinburgh. I love Edinburgh more than I've loved just about anything. So I want it to be perfect. What is that meant to be? Maybe that was my home in Edinburgh. Okay, he owns three businesses yet, which I must make my own. One, two, the last one is a smithy. There it is. And we have removed our competitor from London. I mean, he still has 38 houses, but do I care about buying this? No, I do not. They function all the same and the returns take forever, so never mind that. Good, Edinburgh's done. Edinburgh can be greened. Then there is Scarborough. Right, the AI found two places for houses that I did not notice. What, there were places here? Well, if you say so. Doodle -doo. oh, 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 okay. There were three places there. Good job, AI. But you're not allowed in my Scarborough. Speaking of my Scarborough, it has my money. Yoink. So Scarborough can also be greened. I already greened Boston, but maybe the AI found somewhere to build. They did not. Let's go and admire Boston for a bit. As counterproductive as it may sound, we call it a golden parachute. Okay, that works for me. Oh yeah, this Boston looks amazing. Saltiest place in the Hansa. It produces nothing but salt. Which means it has a massive demand for wood. Still, Boston is greened. London, however, is a bit more troublesome. The enemy hold 32 businesses, and London is meant to produce nothing but beer also. So let's go and track them down, shall we? Well, fortunately... Now that's an offer I simply cannot refuse. Take the business with my blessing. Fortunately, as I was trying to say, uh, it seems almost everything he has built in London are also breweries. Mm, okay, a lot of these things are my breweries under construction as well, but that's okay. 
Ah, the old London bagpipes music. A classic. It was a way to make that mini-map bigger, so I could actually uh, see these businesses easier. Goodbye, my money. Just flowing away from me. I worked so hard for all this money. And bear in mind that we were able to build up the entire Hansa for about 360 million ducats. We're going to be paying about that to buy a few dozen businesses. That's just how much the game ramps up with costs. But I guess it makes sense. I mean, it's the best you can do when almost everything is around this one central what resources. What do you want with this dilapidated old house? With this much gold, I can easily build a new one. Yeah, you will not find a space. We've come so far. Remember when London was this troublesome place where I could only just squeeze 10,000 people inside that? Why do I have beekeepers in London? Not anymore. Gotta build five here. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been a population control uh, movement by me. What do I want with that dilapidated old house though? I wonder if I can run this game in German and I start hearing them uh, complain in uh, foreign tongue. That might actually be pretty fun. Anybody up for that? Run more of the game in uh, German? I mean, I don't think there's anything that I wouldn't understand in this game by it being in foreign. Ah, oh, great, he's got one more business. Where is it? It's a brewery, for sure. And it's definitely going to be in the center here. That is also for sure. Aha. Alright, excellent. I think we can celebrate by having a meal for the poor in London. Oh, that's a nice thing, because I produce plenty of meat and grain and cheese and beer. Meal meals for the poor are easy for us to do. I just don't do them often. Or often enough. Since Berlin provides me with tools and I want it to be a lot bigger though, Berlin is somewhere that I definitely should have meal for the poor. Oddly enough, a large one is easier, because mead and fish are tricky things to produce. Okay, mead only needs honey, but for some reason that's always a challenge for me. Fish is a pain in the arse because it needs salt and hemp. But I mean, this needs nothing, this needs nothing, this needs only uh, salt, and if you have grain, then you can make beer, so. Meal for the poor is great, even if it is charity, and you know my feelings towards charity. Uh, in any case, that means London is greened. Feels great working through this. I mean, it has been such a load of work to make this come to fruition, but we're almost there. Everything is at least yellowed. Bruges is next up, and there's very little work to be done in Bruges. In fact, I think the AI found a few places to sneak in businesses where I couldn't find uh, couldn't find room for. And although there's still stuff to be done here, it will be uh, they will get the materials they need. So all I have to do is buy out uh, three of the competitor businesses. Well, I'd also be demolishing three of them. In any case, Bruges is... Okay, this is actually more difficult if these are... Okay, they're all smoke houses. Do I have enough smelters? 183 of them. So I need three more fisheries. The rest are fine. The question is where the AI have stuck them. Here, fisheries. You're willing to pay many times... What this business is worth? I'm sure I can't imagine how you ever made it this far. Why are they so rude to me when I'm giving them so much money? They're just arseholes, that's what they are.
He owns something here. I can't immediately tell if it's a house or something else. Especially in this winter, it's hard to see what's what. Especially since it's smelters that I'm looking for, and smelters are tough. They might be in the center, though. They often are. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. And there we go. I have all my businesses now. I just need to find his remaining three and destroy them. So I have uh, cut the amount of money I have in half now. It feels good. And by good, I mean it feels horrible. One more smelter. Where was he hiding it? Aha. Seven million for a smelter, though. Utter insanity. But with that, Bruges can be greened off the list, which always feels good. Harlem, we know, has been done. It's been done forever, but it couldn't hurt to check in on it. 550, 550, 550, 100. Jake, is there any future plans to add Polish translation for EU4? A lot of us Poles have trouble understanding parts of it. Uh, you got funny letters in Poland, though. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a real blocker there. In any case, if there were or there weren't, I would not officially be able to comment on that. So I'm sorry to give you a real corporate response. I hate doing that. Uh, I can't be bothered paying up uh, Han again if there's that many to uh, go through. Bremen, however, can be greened. Nimwegen? Nimwagen can be greened, also good. We'll see if the AI build any houses or manage to squeeze any in there. Forget Cologne, Hamburg. Not green. Lubeck. Green. I wonder if he still builds and demolishes buildings just to make me happy. Repen, which has been a real troublesome place, definitely not greened. In fact, how did he manage to find space for so many houses? He wasn't able to penetrate my wall of wells. So where did he put those houses? How was there space here? I'm quite certain I did not leave space here. Maybe he tore down something of his here? Nah, it's more likely I just made a mistake. In any case, Ripon has some cleanup that needs to be done. Such a huge city, though. 710 houses, and there's still loads of space. Uh, Nevstedt shouldn't be anything other than green. Um, it kind of needs some cleanup. I don't like having all these uh, hemp farms here if I don't need them. So what I can do is delete them and replace them with wells later on. So I'll keep that as yellowed. Flensburg... Green, green, green. Bergen. Mm, the AI found place for a house, but another. In any case, it's not green. Stavanger. Exceptionally green. Stockholm. So I can say that I have to buy 71 businesses here. 71 businesses at a cost of... Where's an example business? Ugh. That's why I need hundreds of millions of ducats. So that should answer the question about the guy who was asking what to do with all this money. Gotham City looks extremely green, which is grand. Malmö. Not particularly green. One too many houses, 21 too many businesses. Visby is definitely not green. I didn't buy this place out. A lot of work to be done there. And again, they squeezed a house in somewhere I didn't see. Stetton? No, far from green. Danzig? No way. 
No way, 57 businesses to buy out. And Danzig is only meant to have a population of 630 houses. So they have four more there than necessary. Thorn, oddly enough, not green. Thorn kept itself quite well dealt with. By which I mean I kept it well dealt with. I supplied this place amazingly well. Nonetheless, not greened. Riga? Not quite. Revel? Close, very close. I could get Revel done. It's only seven. If I can find them, that is. They're all dairies as well. I'm willing to pay umpteen times what this business is worth. I'm sure I, I can't imagine how you ever made it this far. Why did they have to make him just sound actually retarded? It's kind of saddening. Alright, if I don't replace what I tear down with wells, then it's all for Cannot, because he'll just rebuild them and then make more millions. Warehouses, so yes, it is well, well, well. I should not have done this in winter, it makes it so hard to see everything. Two more to go. Two more to go. Ugh, goodbye, money. Surely it's in the center, that's where all of his buildings are. Now where could it be? We let time flow so we can actually see the snow fall. It is quite pretty. Don't know how they're growing hemp and all this, but I also don't know much about hemp. Never thought I'd get Revel 100%ed before so many others, but yes, Revel is green. Green doesn't mean completely done, though there are wells to be dealt with and such. Helsinki should be fine. Helsinki is, of course, fine. Don't know if my competitor will find anywhere to put a house that I didn't see, but... Eh, it needs more wells. It'll actually need quite a lot more wells, given that I'm not even uh, close to full uh, full occupation here. Hemp is basically weed in rope form. It's all you need to know. Yeah, I know that much at least. Still, Helsinki gets greened off the list. Minden is surely done. How could it be anything but done? 370, 370, 370, and it's such a cute city. Look how small it is. No real good access to running water though, so God knows how they survive. Well, I guess they can import water with the amount of uh, metal goods they sell out for us, so that's good. Still, Minden is greened off the list. All of these internal cities are easy to green off because I starved them to death and then bought them up nice and cheap. Erfurt, everybody's favourite uh, magnet, is done as well. Posen. Done and done right. Even if it is really small, it brings us that wine that we need. And they complain about a lack of clothing. Well, that's a complaint everybody's going to be having for a long time. Nonetheless, greened off my list. 
Breslau. Six fifty, six fifty, and more six fifty, and even with some space here. Plenty of squares, which will keep that prosperity nice and high. Not that it matters really at all. I need to make a separate line in my spreadsheet for 100% wells and uh, infirmaries and chapels. Chaunas. No, Warsaw to check first. Naturally, Warsaw looks fine. I even own almost all the houses here, which is good. Chaunas, though. Oh, 17 businesses that need to go. I don't think I'll do that right now. Although if I did, I'd have 100% all inland cities. And they are all mead breweries, which are easy to find. And they're pretty cheap. willing to pay up times what this business is worth? I'm sure I can't imagine how you ever made it this far. Well, in 15 years, I essentially bought Northern Europe, so, uh, you're right, it would be difficult to imagine how I got this far. Nice, now that burger home has, it's going to be the most decadently lovely place to live. There's a whole bunch of wells. He's going to be happy. Uh, he'll probably be a patrician as well, given his proximity to the center. Still, don't you have more businesses that you don't deserve? And here they are. Here's all of them, in fact. With this done, all inland cities are greened off. I just need to check Berlin after this, but I'm certain it's okay. Chonas was a problem, right? I mean, this stuff makes no sense. Regardless, though, Chonas brings in the cheese, and that cheese has been so important to keeping starvation away. It's probably been the single most underrated good in all of this Hansa. So yes, Chonas gets greened off. And then there's finally Berlin. 500, 500, 500. Amazing. So if we look at our list, and we can look at our list, there aren't many places left in yellow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 places out of 40 still left to perfect. Of course, then there's wells. I will have to add another, uh, another thing here for wells. Jake's, how's your experience living in Sweden? Um, if you have a place to live, it's great. If you don't, it's horrible. The housing situation in Sweden is a complete mess, and nobody's stepping up to address it. Hmm, I wonder if the salt is flowing properly. It just seems like it ain't. Okay, plenty of people complaining over here that it is not, so salt needs to go out more. But that I think I'll do another day. It's, uh, it's past three, I really need to get a few hours sleep before work. Alright, good times had by all, especially me. We are coming towards the end of this Patrician 4 Perfect Hansa playthrough. We'll be perfect when we have a population of 2,304,000 Hanseatic people. And according to the guild... We're not far from that. 1.470984 million. Hot damn. Stagnation in Boston? What? I mean, stagnation has no real effect, but that tells me you are lacking goods hard. Oh no, they just came out of a, uh, a plague, that's why. I wonder if there's a way to mod plagues out if you have 100% everything, because that really shouldn't be firing. Alright, getting trapped in thought here. I need to finish up. Cheers, folks. Time for bed. How many more sessions do you think there'll be, says Shizzle? 
will be done in a week. Will be done in a week. All right. Good night, folks. Cheerio. Consider this as either a token of my esteem or revenge, whichever you prefer. <laughs>